Durham native, and I come from a family where diabetes is very prevalent. My dad had 10 siblings, all of them were insulin dependent diabetics, and most of them had had something amputated. So this diabetes project is really near and dear to my heart. We've all seen the data on rising rates of diabetes, rising rates of hypertension, rising rates of cardiovascular disease. What is so encouraging to me about the Durham community is that our community has looked at that data and embraced it as a challenge and said, this can't go on. We can't, ha we can't keep having these rising trends. We have to find a way to create more health in our community. There are really two things about this project that make it important. I mean, the primary one is that our people are dying prematurely and having disability due to diabetes and its complications. We need to do something about it. But in addition to that, we can help the entire country and perhaps even have an impact globally if we develop information systems that enable us to make better decisions, both as a community and in medical care, to lower these rates of death and disability. In Durham County, we think there's anywhere between 7 to 9 percent of our population impacted by diabetes and probably another 2 percent that have diabetes and they've not been diagnosed. So we want to do screenings, we want to get people connected, we want to talk to people, we want families talking about it because we don't talk about diabetes like we talk about not smoking. So the beauty of this project, in my mind, is that you marry really high-end, advanced, geospatial information technology, so real kind of advanced whiz-bang kind of stuff, and you marry it with good old-fashioned, but tried and true, proven, go out to the community, meet people where they live, where they make their decisions about what to eat, whether or not they're going to exercise, whether or not they're going to take their medications, where they get their local support. So we use the information technology to understand the patient better within the context of where they live and then we take all of that information and we build a community-based intervention that brings the community and the technology all the way together. So we don't have to periodically sample with a survey that you do every few years. We can actually look at the electronic records and see exactly how we're doing. And of course the message is we're not doing as well as we should and we're hopeful that this very robust, integrative data system that gives us real-time feedback will help our neighborhoods and communities take matters into their own hands and deal with this epidemic. And our, our effort is also to understand the community resources that are available. We really don't want to duplicate resources. We want to maximize on the ones that, it, that capitalize on the ones that exist and if there are models that need to be replicated because they're best practice, we certainly want to do that. And then we want to understand where the gaps are in the services. So we want to build a continuum of services. Durham is rich in resources, but we want to connect those resources. And we want our residents to understand where the resources are and how to access those resources. The part that we really need to test in this project is linking the data systems and that will allow us to figure out how to target particular areas with what kinds of interventions linked to very specific interventions. So that's the part that we really need to test here and then figure out what are the next reasonable communities to test this in. This is a condition or a diagnosis that you can uh, live with successfully and you can prevent yourselves from becoming a person with diabetes by making some lifestyle changes and understanding what your family predisposition is to it and, and, and uh, working with your medical provider. So there are lots of things that we want to do with this Diabetes Coalition. Durham is located in the middle of what used to be known as the Stroke Belt. It's now known as the Stroke and the Diabetes Belt, the southeastern United States as we measure rates of obesity and diabetes and their consequences, cardiovascular disease in particular, the rates are very high in Durham County compared to other parts of the country like Colorado, Utah, um, areas where public health measures perhaps have been a bit more effective, the diet is different. So we have a lot of data to indicate that we have a problem. Now we need to do something about it.
in controlling the diabetes or helping people be successful with living uh, within the parameters of controlled diabetes, we expect to see a reduction in emergency department visits and the uh, hospitalizations that can be avoided. And in one proposal, when we looked at it, uh, we think maybe uh, working with this project, we would be able to save 10 to $11 million over the lifetime of a project. And so that has enormous implications for our community and for the people who uh, deal with diabetes. And it's not just the health system or just the health department or just community groups. It's all of those different stakeholders coming together and saying, we have to change things. And we're willing to put the effort in to make something really exciting happen. So five to 10 years from now, I truly believe that we will see better data, better statistics on the health of the people in our community. And Durham can serve as a model for communities across the country. This is really big. If we're able to uh, impact the health outcomes of the entire community. Quality of life goes up for many people, longevity is there, and um, we have cost savings.